On behalf of Sue and Katie, we want to welcome you all to this very important day. It's a day that's been a long time in the making. And when I met with Sue and Katie about a month ago, I asked them, so why do you want to do this? You're already legally married. And by the way, I have no authority to do this. Everything we're doing today is completely illegal and we're kind of winging it. But it was really important to Sue and Katie to have all of you with us to celebrate the storybook romance that has been going on for 16 and a half years, to celebrate their lives together, and to celebrate the fact that they can finally legally get married. I actually think that Sue had long dreamed of a shotgun marriage, and that's why <laughs> they decided to do a uh, quick ceremony at LAX. <laughs> which was completely outsourced. And lest you believe that uh, Sue is the romantic in the family, I, I believe Katie is the one who really believed that their love deserved all of you in the room together with them. And we know that your love never waited on legalities. We know that you all from the start made intentional choices to be together career choices after that love at first sight moment. You made family choices to prioritize your relationship. And all through the years, you've kept your romance alive with choices and with true love. I think that your true love is one that many of us would like to emulate. It's one that many of us admire. We are all honored to be here celebrating this great day with you. Willa, you've been an incredible part of this relationship from the start. I think it's admirable, frankly, that anybody would start a relationship with a two-year-old in the middle. <laughs> and if anybody wondered if this relationship would stand the test of time, certainly that first year with a two-year-old and a new relationship, probably surviving that meant that they could survive anything. <coughs> Willa and Katie were immediately bonded. And I think there is a family joke that used to go around that after about a decade, Katie and Willa would decide if they were going to hang out with Sue anymore or not. <laughs> Their family is so much bigger than just the three of them. The Weissmiller clan is, is the blood relative side of this family. And the Weissmillers, if you haven't had a chance to meet them yet, are a gregarious, full of life bunch <laughs> that have chosen to support this relationship and to grow it in love. I know that Sue and Katie are tremendously grateful to all of you Weissmillers for welcoming Sue into the family and for celebrating their love. The rest of you here, who are not white smellers, <laughs> are chosen family. And if anybody has ever been around Sue's Thanksgiving table, mm. you know that chosen family is the most important thing to these two. They choose to be in relationship with the white smellers, and they choose to be in relationship with all of you. And you all, are the clan that have helped this love grow. Sue and Katie talk about their love as being one being a hot air balloon that's tethered to the ground. And today they talk about Katie being that tether, cheering Sue on in her triathlons, in her soaring thirst to be the top in the world. <laughs> The rest of us may get tired of the triathlon training. <laughs> some, of, some of us are a little surprised she's not wearing a race bib. <laughs> but I know that at times, Sue 
Two, you've been the one on the ground cheering Katie on and staying home, <coughs> raising a family, and keeping things stable when she was traveling the country, recruiting, and coaching. These two are the highlight of one another's day. They actively have passionate lives outside of their relationship with each other. But coming home at night and celebrating their love and reflecting on the day's activities is their favorite thing in the world. They have created a life that I think is perfect balance. Katie is always on the phone. <laughs> And if you would like to talk to Sue on the phone, she accepts one call a day, three weeks in advance. <laughs> Katie loves to work, and Sue's staff at the BBC wonders where she is. <laughs> Sue is in constant pursuit of race weight and... Katie has candy stashed in every corner. <laughs> and today we celebrate the meeting in the middle of your perfect balance and your perfect love. And we are so honored to be with you. James is going to share a reading with us. This is from Khalil Gibran's The Prophet. You shall be together forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. You shall be together even in the silent memory of God. Let there be spaces in your togetherness, and let the winds of the heavens dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together and be joyous, but let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts. And stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. Sue and Katie, it's time to light your unity candle. This is a candle that represents the two of your lives coming together as one. rings are a symbol of your unending love for one another, and your promise to keep that love forever. Success! I 
I'm better off for all the people I raised. I need your grace to remind me. I need your grace to remind me of my own. I give you my body, heart, mind, soul, spirit, always. <laughs> As members of the community, Sue and Katie have come to call family. Do each of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to strengthen and uphold them both in their marriage? Sue and Katie, together with the family you were born to and those that you have chosen to celebrate your love, promises to one another, and we commit to supporting you in the next decades together. to break a glass to celebrate your union. I want you to remember to break this glass completely. May your marriage last as long as it would take to put it back together. <laughs>